All right, uh, here we are. We are going to continue from exactly where we last off in the last video. And uh, like I promised, we're going to start with this form and we're going to create functions or methods for the buttons. Uh, technically, what we're doing is we are crea creating an event for the form. So under the properties box, we do have a list of properties. But then we can see there's this other box with a lightning bolt and when I hover it it says events and this is a list of all the different events that we can play with and when I click on a button and then I click on events you can see it automatically highlights click and a click event is when we click on it with a mouse and that is exactly what we want now if we want to change how this behaves when a different event happens there are a whole lot of events we can learn about. But for now, we only care about clicking on the button. And 99% of the time, a button only cares when people click on it. That's the only thing that matters. So, we're going to create an event for the update sheet button. Now, because we changed the name to update button, when I double click, it's going to create a method that says update button. Now we don't need the text box right now so I'm gonna make that go away. So in the text box you can see there's a little kind of like a pin to stick paper to a, to a wall and when I click on it it's just gonna automatically hide. If I need the text box I can hover over the word toolbox, sorry it's in text box, and I can get this back and we can go through the tools as we need. Uh, but in the program here we don't really need it. When we go back to the form, I can hover over the toolbox and we can see all the tools here. But like I said, we've made the form, we don't need that. So we have an update sheet function, we're going to create a method or function for the last button click and we can see the name is nice. We'll go back and we'll just double click, create another one for the next button. Um, if we want to create a method a different way, just for fun, I can click on the add sheet under events, if I just double click, it will create one. It's that easy. Under form one, we go to use current sheet, or delete current sheet, sorry. Now, it's kind of cool. When you look in here at the properties, you can see a drop down menu of all the events I've created, but I want to create a new one. So I'll just double click, and it automatically creates one. So we've created uh, some some methods or functions for when we have an event. So uh, I'm just going to create a comment to say methods for the mouse, mouse click events. And what this comment is just going to let me know is when I'm, oops, sorry, accidentally hit the wrong key. Um, so what this is going to let me do is when I'm programming, it's going to allow a very quick and easy access to these events. And the comment will let me know, oh, here are all my mouse events. And I'm not really going to do anything with them yet. I just want to make sure they exist before I forget about them and do other things with it. And then to make the code even kind of easier to see around, later I might put some spaces in there. Uh, we can update it this way. Quickly, I'm going to run the program. Everything is working. Now, when I click on the mouse, nothing happens because we haven't told the program to have anything happen. So from here, we, we, we've created the events for these buttons, and that was a pretty easy thing to do. We are now going to need to make some functions that happen when we click on them. I'm going to do one quick function that is not so important. So I'm going to do under the update button, I'm going to create a message box. And a very quick way to make it a message box is an MBOX. And then if I hit tab twice, you can see it creates this code message box show test. I'm going to keep everything the way it is. And when I click on the update button, it should create a message box that just says the text test. And this is only to test that my program is running. When I click on that, I can see the test method is happening. Oops, I didn't close that. I missed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete the message box because I can now see that my program is working fine. 
And I'm going to stop here because I've made the methods for the button clicks. That's all I wanted to do. In the next video, what I will do is create the character sheet class. And that's going to take a little bit longer. But for this video, all I did was create the button create the mouse click events and the functions to handle it, which was really just a little bit of work. All right, so I will stop here. Thank you.